Is the motion uh, be agreed to? The Honourable Sandra Carr. Thank you, Deputy President. Um, I rise very quickly um, to say that I cannot support the Honourable Wilson Tucker's motion. Whilst I agree of that it's incredibly important that we have digital inclusion, he's made the mistake of swallowing hook, blind and sinker, Scotty from marketing's message that everything is the state government's responsibility now. Telecommunications is, and let me say this very, very clearly, it's a federal responsibility. The federal government cannot continue to keep passing on cannot keep passing on, you're struggling to understand, Neil, or should I mumble into my beard? Um, they cannot continue to keep passing on what is federal responsibility. And I'd like to give you a little bit of a history lesson, because I see the honourable members across the floor having a bit of a giggle about the privatisation of Telstra during the Howard era, but I'd like to tell you how it happened. It's not a funny story. Howard needed some members to support that motion. So what he did is get old Brian Harradine from down in Tasmania, who wanted to ban the drug RU486 for women and, and traded women's reproductive rights for the sale of Telstra. Shame. Absolutely disgraceful. Forcing women into surgical and medical procedures for the sale of and privatisation of Telstra supported by the Liberal National Government. Absolute disgrace, that's how that came about. And now we're left with a Telstra that has no real performance indicators. They have free reign and open slather in the market and that's not equity and that's what we've, we're left with now. Very little checks and balances against the services they deliver. I hear the Honourable Martin Aldridge talk about funding the Black, regional black spot program. That would be great if it was done with integrity and if Telstra would provide transparent data about the coverage and the service they're delivering. We can't keep funding these things and throwing money after money into programs that aren't delivering the service that they're being paid to deliver. It's not good enough and that's why it's a federal problem. Yeah. Yeah. Members, question the motion be agreed. The Honourable Jackie Jarvis. Thank you, Acting President, Deputy President. Um, and I do want to thank the Honourable Wilson Tucker for, for bringing this subject here. And, and digital inclusion is something I know a little bit about living in regional WA. 